I'm Charles Ramsey and I'm the owner of Classic Connection and Dawson Engineering Limited. Here we are in the lovely village of Burley in the New Forest near the south coast. I'm going to walk you around the forecourt first and show you the building and then we'll go inside a bit later on and I'll talk about both companies. So, we'll do a mixture of cars outside. We do some, we're doing some Land Rover Defenders at the moment and a few Range Rovers because obviously we're in the forest and it's quite a good mix. Um, and we've got a couple of classics outside. We've got a 308 GT4, a Lotus Cortina on the front. And then we've got the Defender that we've, uh, we've put some rear seats in, we've put some side windows in. We've got the petrol pumps where we serve the petrol. This has been a garage since 1949, believe it or not. Family run business. Um, we serve the petrol. We check the oil, we check the tyres if they want, lots of different things. Um, as many customers in the village have got petrol accounts, which I'll show you when we go inside. Um, and yeah, as I say, it's, it's, it's been a garage since 1949, it's pretty unique, because obviously most garages from that era have all gone, um, but this garage seems to have survived, which is brilliant. So uh, yeah, right, we'll take you inside and, and we'll carry on showing you around. One more thing, I must say. This is Colin. Colin! He's head of security. He's actually seven today. Happy birthday, Colin. He doesn't stay here all the time. Only for a few hours a day. It gets a bit warm for him in the summer. But anyway, have a drink, Colin. Come on. And here we are now inside, so I'm going, to, I'm going to have a walk round with you and talk to you about sort of all aspects of both businesses. We'll start off with my lovely wife Andrea, who is kept behind this window. Hello Andrea. Hello Charles. Thank you. You're going to be rude about me as always. No, no, not at the moment. You don't want to call me a... Uh... Arsehole? Yes, maybe not. Anyway, we'll come back to her if we need to. Thank you. Thank you. As you were. Right, shall we go through the showroom and I'll just talk you through some cars. Um, this, is, this is the showroom, we've got room for sort of seven cars, but as you can see it's a bit tight. So at the moment we've got a, a V12 V-Type Roadster, genuine you know, UK original car with matching numbers. Um, we've got a matchless motorcycle trials bike in here, which isn't for sale, but it's just a, a prop. Um, and then we've got a lovely uh, alloy bodied Bentley Special. It's been it's a 1953 uh, R-Type, been rebodied um, in a handmade aluminium um, tub uh, and modernised with disc brakes on the front, uh, modern suspension on the back, and a few other things that just make it a bit nicer to drive. So, and then in the corner, we've got a 1967 E-Type Series One Coupe, genuine UK car again. Um, this guy used to belong to me actually, and we've, we've actually uh, fully restored it, every nut and bolt, uh, back to the original colour of white with uh, red interior. Um, and next to it is a BSA trials bike, again that's not for sale, that's a, that's a prop. Um, and then we've just sort of put a little desk area in here, uh, to sort of, so I can sit in here away from the, away from the crowds. And in the corner we've got my 246 Dino, that I've had since 2006. Couldn't afford to buy one these days, but I'm lucky enough to have one now. Uh, and then next to that, we've got a Seagra XK140 that we've restored in its original colour scheme of uh, obviously grey with the red interior. Um, we're just waiting for, we've got to have to get another windscreen for it. We're currently doing the engine rebuild. Um, we've got the grill now, so we're going to fit that soon. So um, that should be ready in the next sort of month or so. We've converted it from steel wheels to wire wheels and a few other little things would just make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and then we're coming to two American V8 engine cars. Uh, this is a well Italian car obviously, the Detomasso Pantera, it's a 1972 I think this one. It's got a 5.74 V8 engine in it. I love the style of this car with its original interior and its original wheels. Very, very cool I think for that sort of period. Um, and then over here, we've got a GTD Development GT40, which is a 4.94 uh, V8, uh, an incredible car. 
Um, I'm not built for one of these, but once I'm in there, I have a great time and I love it. I've just sold it to a really nice customer and we're just making a few changes for him and, and checking it all over and making sure it's as he wants it. So uh, we're going to walk through to the back to a black E-Type Series 2 Roadster that we've restored for a friend of mine. This car used to be red with a black interior and we've also done it black now with a red interior. We've done quite a few subtle changes to this car. We've put the competition wire wheels on. We've put a genuine Nardi steering wheel on and we've had a special uh, steering wheel sensor made with the Jaguar logo which obviously comes out easily so he's got the option of the Nardi sensor or the Jaguar one. Um, we've done a few things on the engine. I'll open that up and show you and talk you through it. Sorry about that, bit of a, bit of a catch to the catch. Right, so we've put triple Webers on it, we've got uh, racing cams, we've got a large uh, I think it's a two and a half inch exhaust this one. We've got big valves in the head, we've got electronic ignition, alloy radiator, we've got up, upgraded brakes. So on this side of the engine bay you can see we've got the Weber carburetors in which are going to make this car sound absolutely fantastic. We've got our own classic connection bar made up for the HT lead which I think looks absolutely great. Um, customer's choice to have a gold head, I agree with him, I think it looks fantastic. The gold heads, or the early pumpkin heads are my favourite but this obviously should have a silver head, but I think it looks really nice as it is. Um, as I said, we've got the alloy radiator, upgraded brakes, we've got the silicon brake fluid, and all the things we've done to the engine. Um, and now I'm gonna show you a very special thing that we've done on the front of this car, and I did get permission from the owner to do that. Um, I've had a number of plates painted on by Terry, a friend of mine, who is a fantastic sign writer. He does a lot of stuff worldwide, uh, a lot of stuff for Google Revival, uh, he paints everything on by hand, there's no stencil, it's just incredible. If you look closely, it's all done in enamel and you can see the lines in the paintwork, which is quite amazing. I did say to him, my God, Terry, I think the G's a bit too big and maybe the O. And he said, what you need to know, Charles, is when you look at a, any sign, the O and the G or anything rounded at the top always looks slightly bigger. It's, I think he used the word that they're accentuated. I'm going to show you outside quickly, out the back. We're ha having an extension built, so it's really messy out here, I'm afraid. But here we've got a defender we've done for a friend of mine. We've got a new chassis on it for him. Because the old chassis was completely rotten. And, and it's a, you know, a death trap. But now he can enjoy it for many more years to come with a new galvanised chassis. Uh, a few other cars out here for work to be done. Uh, Mercedes 123 Series Estate over there, that's mine, which will be coming for sale soon. Great colour, olive, olive type green with tan interior. Um, then we've got Sunbeam Lotus Ti, which is a customer's car we've done a load of work on. And we've just got to do the cam belt and then that car will be done. And then we've got an SL that I sold many years ago to a local customer, and that's in for an MOT and service. And we've got a, an abandoned Saab that's got the head gasket gone. Right, let's go back inside. Uh, we've got a car here for sale, it's just come up. Austin here, 3000. And in front of it, we've got an MGB Roadster that's just coming to a of work done. The chap's just bought it and he wants us to go right through it and tell him what's right and what's wrong about it. Now I'm going to take you through to a very old part of the garage. This is the loop of what they always used to call the lubrication bay. Um, and up on the wall at the back, this is part of my BMX collection now, but that used to be all the old drums used to have cable, uh, uh, pipes on that you could pull out and then you could, whatever oil you needed, you would um, you know, pull the pipe out and put it into that car. So in here at the moment we've got another E-Top I used to own, funny enough, I sold to a chap locally um, and we're just doing some work for him, we've just done some work on the carburettors, a uh, little problem with the exhaust. It was, we converted to a five-speed gearbox and that's a little bit noisy and we're not sure whether, you know, whether there's, there's a fault in the actual gearbox itself. Um, he wanted some modern seats put in it, so we put some modern seats in for him. We're just sorting that out at the moment. Um, so, yeah, basically, so this is, as I say, the lubrication bay. And then they changed from using that system up there to all these lovely castrol, as I call them, dispensers. And they all had the different oils in, and they were all used, you know, up until recently, actually, uh, to, to, you know, to, to supply the oil for all the different cars. And over here, we've got quite a special thing. This is the original uh, paraffin, pink paraffin pump that was put in the garage, pretty much, I think, if I'm right in saying, when it was new. So when the garage was new and when the pump was new. 
Um, that's just something I should add. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real collector, as you can probably see around, of enamel signs and automobilia and petrol pumps and all kinds of things and bikes and st all sorts of stuff. So what was lovely about uh, acquiring this garage is a lot of the stuff on the walls that you see was actually bought in the day when they were new and when the garage was new to basically make a garage, which I, which I, I find really great considering I usually just buy something because I like the look of it, like we all do, but these were all actually bought for the original purpose of when this garage started, so I, I think that's really cool. So that's the para pink paraffin pump. And then here we've got something also quite special, and I did see one in a museum in the Cotswolds the other day, which, which was my daughter found quite amusing. This is a, a Krypton Diagnostic Centre. Now I haven't got a clue how to use this, but we do have Fred, who's worked in the garage since 1961, and he has retired a few years ago, but when we use this machine, we get Fred up to have a little play with it and show people how to use it. A couple of the other guys can use it as well, but Fred, Fred's the expert, and. As I say, it's probably been using it since it's new, since it was new, so that's quite a cool thing, I think. Um, right, well that's the lubrication bay. Uh, we're going to go upstairs in a minute and I'll show you some interesting stuff up there, or things that I find interesting anyway. I hope you do too, but, but you can make your own mind up about that. Before we go up, I just want to talk you through, this is actually the MOT bay, and it's got what's called grandfather rights. Because it was made so long ago, it's still within it's still legal to use it you know if you started one like this today you probably wouldn't be allowed to use it but because it's so old and it is you know within the the laws of MOTs it's allowed to be used so you can still see that the yellow lines down the side we've got the original Lucas Hartridge beam tester which is probably from the 70s maybe early 80s um, we've got a pit in down below and we've also got another interesting piece of equipment which was obviously put in many years ago we've got the Kismet HPA brake tester now you probably won't see one of those again, but obviously here you do. In fact, David, sorry, can we just zoom through and watch my wife? She's just filling up some petrol for a couple. There we go. One of our locals has come in. This lady hasn't got an account, but she does come in quite regularly for her fuel. We do unleaded and we do diesel. We don't do super unleaded, but we did used to do four star, and that's something I'm looking into getting again, because I, I'd like to do a kind of cars and coffee and four star morning. So, a lot of the local people can come in their classic cars and put the four star back in. We have got an old tank which is still available to put that in, so it's something I'm currently looking into. I'll get out of the way in a minute. You can see how the upstairs starts with the memorabilia. I'll show you the off have a look down the stairs, you'll see it's there's a lot of it about. Hoarding my wife calls it, but I call it a different thing. Right, this is my office. I don't really use this as much anymore now I've settled myself downstairs in the showroom. But here's part of my collection of, of things. That's a 355 Ferrari seat. My collection of rally choppers and an original rally sign. One thing I should just add, that I didn't say when I was talking about the company, we have got a couple of other units where we store cars and, and work on cars. Well, a little bit of work on cars. Um, but obviously this is the main base. I was, and it reminded me as I was looking around my memorabilia that there is some in other areas. It, get, it does get worse. Right, um, that's Andrea's office there. Very small office. Um, we don't really use that that often, but if I've had enough of her, I'll put her up here for a couple of hours on the odd occasion. And then we go through, this is a really important part, stores. I'm just to show you that. So this has been a store since 1949. Um, so, I mean, I apologise for the mess at the moment because we haven't got a lot of space, so there's so many things in here. I mean, I recognise a lot of it, but, you know, fan belts going back to whenever. There's a couple of, uh, let me get it right, V12E type front calipers. I got that right, that's good. Um, ball joints for an Escort Mark II RS2000, if I believe. That's good. Um, what else have we got here? My God. Got a brand new Ford Granada hubcap with the plastic over the top still that's covered in dust. Um, just years and years of oil filters, air filters, gaskets. I mean, it is quite incredible. Um, spark plugs, points, condensers. I mean, this is this has been a garage serving 
for the local community, not just about cars, but about bicycles. There's some brand new mud guards, probably from the 70s and 80s, still in the original brown packaging, what's left of it. Um, we've got a John Bull, as I was going, saying earlier about the, the, the signs and the, the, the memorabilia, the petrol pumps. Here is an original John Bull, flexi, uh, flexible, convoluted radiator hose sign with its original bits of hosing on. Um, again, you know, it would have been bought when the garage was new or soon, you know, soon after it was new. I guess that's probably a, a 60s sign uh, with my limited knowledge. I think that probably is. Um, so yeah, so we've got lots of things in here, as I say, going right back to, 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 to the old days. And I should add also that downstairs in the loft above the showroom, um, this, the, this, this company used to, used to rent out roof racks to people um, and for, for going on holiday. So we've got roof racks downstairs for many 40s, 50s and 60s models of cars. We've got tyres, we've got exhaust. We've just got so many spares that they're all just up in the loft downstairs. Should I say down, but up in the loft downstairs um, because we just haven't got the space to have them up here. Um, then we come through to the back. It's got the original toilets. Uh, so excuse me, there's more of my uh, BMX collection just sat there. But we have more memorabilia. This is one of my favourites. This is an original Osram bulbs cabinet with a lot of the original bulbs in it. So that's one of my personal favourites. Um, when we come out of here, we're using the ladies at the moment because the gents has got a, a bit of a leak. So I'll just show you through here quickly. Yeah, so here's the here's the, the, the gents toilet with more uh, more uh, all these stuff on the walls. And then last in here, we've just got a little storeroom, which believe it or not, used to be the staff when they had about six or seven staff. This used to be the staff luxury, so they had a kettle in here, and you can see this is all my overflow posts, my poster collection, and toys and bits and pieces, and even some of my camping gear. And there's a heater on the wall there, classic 70s, maybe late 60s heater. Um, well, I, I, I've shown you it, but let me sort of give you a few words about what we actually do. So, classic connection sells, buys, whatever, uh, classic and sports cars. Um, and we restore E-Type Jaguars primarily. We've, do, we've got an XK down there we're doing. We've got a Phantom uh, Rolls Royce, that, sorry, a Cloud One Rolls Royce that we're doing. We've got a Mark II Jag that we're doing. Uh, we've got a 190SL that we're doing, a right-hand drive one. We've got a two-door Range Rover that's coming up. These are all cars that are coming up to be done. So we're not just Jaguar, but we, we do a, a, a mix of, of different cars, but we primarily do Jaguar E-Types. We are obviously a, a, a sensibly priced Jaguar specialist within the new forest, should I say. Um, so yeah, so the, both companies work really well, I think, together. And also, what a great place. I'm very lucky to be able to do it from a premises like this, because there's nothing like this in the country. I don't, I, I don't know when you last went to a petrol station where, where the, the fuel gets served for you, and then the local people have a count. I, I was given 20,000 original car brochures going back from the 40s to the present day. Not just car brochures, but, but car magazines. So I've got, I've got a lot of them in my unit, um, and I've kind of hidden them all around here. Andrew goes mad because I've moved paperwork around and, and I've put my brochures in. So I can I can show you a few. So let's just go, what's behind the window? Okay, let's just go behind this thing there. And there's a big pile of them here. Um, I'm not gonna pull them out, but I mean, for an example, there you go, let me just show you that one, what's that? My God. So what's that? A Chevette or something? Oh God. What's that one? Let's put let's pull a few out. I must do that now. We, now I've said it. Let's pull a few out. So that is an Opal Cadet brochure. What else have we got? This might be the Vauxhall section. Uh, a Vauxhall something. Another Opal Cadet brochure. And just, there's an Astra, uh, there are just so many. Um, as I say, I've got 20,000 in total, all Italian cars, Jag and, and UK cars, American cars even, some really interesting. Um, right, let's go back downstairs. Some of my favorite posters, Martin. Uh, well, I'm lucky enough to have one of these at home. So I've got a Via Aston Martin original um, Newport Pagnell uh, display posters. Again, a lovely original Porsche display poster. 
Right, as I was saying, so I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but people, people with a petrol account, this is their accounting system here. Um, we've got a few in here, uh, they've just been renewed, it's the first of the month, so there won't be much on them. In fact, I'm just trying to find them on anything on them. But anyway, this is the way they are. So they're um, original, we have to get these printed again, and they're, and they're not cheap actually. But they're the original kind of forms that they would have used. So obviously the customer gets a copy at the end of the month and we keep a copy and the accountant gets a copy. But there it is with the Dawson Engineering Burley Limited on the top. And that's one of the customer's ones. Um, put that back in there. And the other thing I wanted to mention, which I, I, I think is, is, is quite cool. Uh, we haven't got any modern till system or, or computerized system in an old school way. Um, this is the till. And this is what we do. So we write down whether they've had diesel unleaded or whether it's a bill they're paying or they've had a tyre or they've bought a Pithco torch or they've bought an Ever Ready battery that's been there since 1973, whatever, or some four-stroke lawnmower oil. We write it all down on here and then it gets put on another sheet and then it gets given to the accountant. But this is the till that I've been dying to show you because it goes like that. And there aren't many petrol stations with tills like that left these days, I wouldn't have thought. All the bills are handwritten. Um, I'll show you an example that Andrea's done because my writing is pretty illegible. Well, there's one she started. So I won't show you the customer's name or phone number because I think that's a bit rude, but that's for the Austin Healy. Not this one here, but another one that's coming in. And there is our original invoice style with the number obviously in the corner and the name of the company and all the details. Uh, something else I forgot to mention, I keep coming back to it. It comes back through to the lubrication bay. We have a, a, a machine here for making uh, oil and like, they obviously call it two stroke still. So this machine, we put oil in there, two stroke oil, and that mixes it with petrol. Um, and people have a 50 to 1 mix, 25 to 1 mix. These days it's usually used for you know hedge trimmers, strimmers, lawnmowers, whatever. Um, so that's something that we still do at Open Journey. I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, it, 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 I hope it's been entertaining for everyone. As I said, it's a privilege owning this garage and all its different things and what it's got to offer and its history and stuff like that. So we will be making some more videos, maybe about the individual cars a bit more and about our restoration and stuff that we do and different aspects of that. And you know, just, just more history maybe on the garage and I'll show you some more of my memorabilia. Um, we might even go to the different units and show you some stuff there, which I hope you find interesting. So as I say, thanks for watching. We'll take you through and we'll just say goodbye to Andrea. And I'm sure she's trying to say goodbye because she absolutely loves being on the camera. Come through. Just like to say goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Yeah, but I like, see, the sort of humour she gives me, when am I going? Yeah. And this whole lot will end up in an auction in five minutes if I go. Yeah. You get that, David? Yeah. Good. Yeah.